Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about how to care for your photo quilt blocks. Uh, I've already talked about that in a separate video, but I'm just going to go over it really quick. So what I do is I wash it in an everything free detergent and I don't use fabric softeners. And then this is actually washed and dried. So it's very durable. It's looking great. It still has the same color as the original. But this video is more about how to press and work with your photo quilt blocks so you're not scared of it. So this is a polyester, okay? So it can melt. But when I fuse or print this fabric, it's between 350 and 400 degrees and it's for a minute. So it can take heat. It just has to be even heat, okay? So if I were going to press this, I would not want to put my iron directly on it, ever. I would want to cover it with a piece of fabric. This is a cotton poly cover sheet that I have. I'm gonna get these listed on the website. I'll add a link below when they are ready. Basically, it's just a piece of fabric that is bigger than a fat quarter. I have not finished any edges, but it's perfect because you can still kind of see through it, and it's a cotton poly, so it's perfect for a press cloth. Um, so they're very affordable. Or you can use your parchment paper from your kitchen, and then you can come in on top of your photo, okay? So I have had people melt their photo quilt blocks because they were kind of digging in to, you know, press their seam open. You don't want to do that. So if I'm going to press this, I'm going to lay this over here, and I'm going to press on top of it. I do not want to leave an iron sitting for any amount of time in one place because the way this works is the ink gases into the fabric. If you put too much heat and too much time on top of this, it's, the ink is gonna start gassing back out. So as long as you're only holding your iron like five to 10 seconds, you should be fine. And if not, I want you to contact me and let me know. Uh, but I, I mean, I have pressed these for uh, probably, the typical time I do is probably about eight seconds. So with that said, if I were wanting to fuse, it comes fused with the uh, shear weight on the back, but if I were wanting to fuse like a fleece or something else, I wanna fuse this to something like an applique fabric or something like that. What I would do is I'd lay this face down and have my uh, applique or fusible fleece on it, but a lot of times, and then you can just press directly on that and you don't have to worry about it. But if you're pressing right side up, cause like on your fusible fleece, the fusible is on this side, so you have to press it right side up. So what I would do is lay this piece of fabric over here, give it five seconds, give it five seconds, give it five seconds, okay? And then you should be perfectly safe doing that. If you have a heat press, you know, one of the ones that pulls down, that's even better. You can put it, you can do it all at once, fuses beautifully. Um, also, when I send you your photo quilt blocks, I send you this handout that tells you how to iron it, how, what to do, what not to do. Um, it gives you all kinds of information. So you will get this with every order that you place with me. So you can have that fresh and top of your mind of how you need to work with your photo quilt blocks. But those are the basics of how you iron it. Uh, one other thing that I did want to point out is here, I have pieced this together. So when you are piecing on the back, if I dig into this with my iron, it's got a p potential that it could melt. So when I am doing, and this is what I like about these press claws is I can actually see through it. So I can hold this and then I can very comfortably and at ease, I can press that seam until I feel like it's flat from the back. So we still, even on the back, we don't want to put our iron directly on this. We want to we want to protect it with either parchment paper or I like the pressing cloth because then steam can go through this. Steam won't go through your parchment paper. So uh, that's how I would do pieced blocks. And if you have any questions, please comment and I can do more videos on how to iron and press any questions that you would have. And I'll see you in the next video.